Welcome to Honduras This Week Online News Video Cast for Monday, September 24th. This video cast is brought to you by Minister Sweet, Sweet Dreams. Mario Gutierrez Minera and his unique brand of journalism. Mario Gutierrez Minera was the founder and editor of the English weekly newspaper Honduras This Week. What motivated him to establish such a different informative newspaper? In the beginning, he was aware of the serious lack of media professionally covering the reality of Honduras and the Central American region. He also wanted something that could be read in any part of the globe. Read the full article by Rosibel Pacheco in this week's national section. Mayor pleads for earthquake aid. Hundreds of indigenous people fled their crumbling homes in the wake of unusual seismic activity last week. Following an initial earthquake measuring 5.5 on the Richter scale, communities in Marale municipality were shaken for four days by a series of aftershocks. The earthquake's epicenter was located beneath the village of Nuevo Paraíso, about 100 kilometers north of the capital. But Las Planes, Las Lagunas, and El Carrizal were also badly hit. Read the full article by Laura Mitchison in the national section. President Zelaya demands respect for Honduran immigrants. Honduran President Manuel Zelaya pleaded for the respect of human rights of Honduran immigrants, specifically those who take the risk to emigrate, undocumented, north or to Spain, to improve their economic conditions and life expectancies. The President discounts that the causes of violence in Honduras and the region are based in dysfunctional social structures caused by decades of bad economic conditions. Álvaro Morales Molina brings us more in our national section. Chavez and the Colombian Wars. Within the tangled jungles of Colombia, wanted men in paramilitary outfits hidden under domes of vegetation decided to up the ante in their decades-old civil war against the central government by ordering the mass execution of 11 hostages. The victims were members of the National Congress and all were uniformly executed and their bodies desecrated. The ferocious move by the rebel armies of FARC, Revolutionary Armed Forces of Colombia, inflamed the administration of conservative President Álvaro Uribe, threatening to further destabilize the fragile partial defense achieved by the successful security operations of the Colombian Armed Forces. James W. Bowden brings us more of this story in the Central American section. UN leader proclaims hopeful change is evident in Haiti. There are few slums as infamous for violence and abject poverty as Cicelejo in the heart of Haiti's capital, Port-au-Prince. Drinking water is scarce and public sanitation non-existent. Most of its 300,000 residents have no electricity, even fewer have jobs. For the residents, even the most basic level of human survival is a constant struggle. Read the full article by Paul Foley in the Central American section. This has been your online weekly update for Honduras. This is Nicole Martyr for Honduras This Week Online. Have a great day and see you next week.